Hey guys, welcome to Levi Vincent Ministries. I am Levi Vincent and this is 40 Days of Favor. And today we're talking about Esther and uh, it's, it's an amazing story. And I see Esther as like a type of Christ, um, like a, a representative of Christ here. Um, we see in Esther chapter two, verse seven, that Mordecai had taken Esther as his own daughter when her father and mother died. So Esther was an orphan, and uh, she had a great purpose in life. She was going to save a whole nation. So the story of Esther is about a, a young girl that was an orphan that was taken to save an entire nation. And... Uh, so that's an encouragement to us that no matter our past, no matter our upbringing, God's favor on your life can cause you to save an entire nation. And we see a type of Christ here by uh, God uh, leaving his throne and being rejected. And, uh, you know, he, they said that he didn't have a father. It was like he was uh, a child of of a, a single mother back in the day uh, they accused her um, of all kinds of things and so we can see that the life of Christ is um, a life just kind of like Esther there so uh, moving on here um, we see in her life one lesson to be learned from the life of Esther is we don't want to focus on what is lost but we want to focus on what is left um, Esther could have focused on the things she, she lost in life, but instead she's focusing on what she can save. Okay. So instead of focusing on what we've lost in life, let's focus on what we can still save in life. And Esther chose to save her nation. And if we go, um, and look at this story, um, there's 10 chapters and I want to make this video really short. So Esther becomes queen um, through a series of events, and uh, she obtained favor with the king, okay? Uh, it says in chapter 2, verse 15, um, Esther obtained favor in the sight of all who saw her. Esther was taken to the king into his royal palace in the 10th month, the king loved Esther more than all the other women, grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Esther was favored by the king. Do you think Jesus is favored by Father God? Yes, I do. Um, let's see. Oh, in verse 9 it says that... Uh, that she obtained favor from the king as well. But she became the queen, but her father Mordecai, the man that raised her, would not bow or pay homage to a guy named Haman. Okay, and this made Haman bitter and wicked and evil and jealous and mad. And he was a crazy man and he decided that he was going to destroy all the Jews. Oh, it says their laws are different from all the other people's and they do not keep the king's laws. There's, n Therefore, it is not fitting for the king to let them remain. They need to be destroyed. Okay. But when Mordecai learned this, he tore his clothes, put on sackcloth and ashes, went about in the midst of the city and he cried out with a loud and bitter cry. And there was great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping, and wailing. Haman had promised to pay into the king's treasuries to destroy the Jews. Okay, so Mordecai, Esther's father, says to Esther, and this is the important word right here, do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, but you and your father's house will perish. Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. If you remain completely silent, 
Do not think that you will escape destruction because you are safe and comfortable here in America. We have to stand up. We need to look and see how we can be used and a favor on our lives to speak up for injustice. It says, go gather all the Jews who are present and fast for me, neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. My maids and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Mordecai said, please fast on behalf of me, on behalf of the Jews. And so she fasted. Why? To get God's favor in this situation. And God's favor in this situation was to give her favor with the king. So it was when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court that she found favor in his sight again. What do you wish, Queen Esther? This is her chance to ask the king for favor for the Jews. And she goes about it to reveal Haman's wicked plans. And finally, Haman gets what he deserves. The Jews are saved. And Esther received favor from the king. So in that story, we see that there's some crying out to God. There's weeping, there's fasting. And whatever's going on in your life right now, in our country right now, I hear God saying, do not be silent. Speak up about the injustice going on. Speak up about it, and God's going to give us favor. All right, so I love you guys. And, um, you know, I, I definitely believe that there's... Um, a lot of injustice going on in our health system. I believe there's there's been a lot of injustice uh, going on with uh, people getting financial gain. This whole COVID uh, situation, they've kept doctors from being able to give medicine that would truly help people, and they've dragged out a pandemic, and they've been lining their pockets with all kinds of money instead of letting doctors treat people with preventative medicine. Instead, people's health is getting so bad that they're dying. And that's an injustice. And there's, there's so much other true health that's been swept under the rug so they can sell us experimental medicine. And uh, that's just an injustice. So there it is. I got to speak up about it. And uh, there's so much uh, more healthy living and truth and wisdom that God gives us that is being put in the shadows. And so we've got to speak up and be the light and the truth and know also that Jesus heals today. We need leaders in our government that are going to call out on God and speak life and hope and faith over our country and not speak death over us in fear. There is way too much fear, and we're coming against it in the name of Jesus, and God's favor is delivering us and giving us health in Jesus' name. All right, I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you guys all joining on with me. Favor to you in Jesus' name. Let's be like Queen Esther, who wasn't afraid of the consequences, but spoke up on behalf of her people and we can, we can be like uh, Christ who wasn't afraid to leave the king's throne, uh, to come down here, to give his life for our sins so that we could have favor with the Father, the enemy would be defeated, the wicked Haman, the devil that wanted to destroy us is being defeated, put in his place, and God is saving our lives through Jesus Christ. All right, I love you guys. Be favored tonight. Bye-bye.